don't have a Guardians t-shirt, so I'm gonna use my Star-Lord jacket for this one. of the Galaxy 2, the first teaser trailer has come out, yes, the first teaser, Marvel didn't call that sneak peek a trailer, so I'm not going to either. And we start this trailer with our favorite Guardians fighting the Abelisk in some interdimensional space station or a port, but this actually aesthetically looks very much like the portals that connect to Asgard. I not only say that because of the colors, but the Abelisk is also a dimensional traveling creature. He goes through dimensions to attack people in each and every dimension. He goes through Yggdrasil, let's say, and this wouldn't be the first time that the Abelisk is connected to Thor. So I'm guessing this scene and the whole thing going on here will be more of a thing that connects the Guardians to the rest of the MCU, starting of course with Thor. And that would be the most organic way to do it because Thor travels to dimensions and whatnot and it really, really looks like Asgard. And we see our Guardians fighting this creature off, we see Drax inside it stabbing and stabbing, we see Gamora going up at it, we see Drax jumping into its mouth which looks awesome. And we also see Star-Lord ready for the battle saying showtime boys and they go in into it and then we have scenes that I'm guessing happen in Ego's planet. We had this shot that we already saw in the sneak peek and then we have Drax just blipping out saying screw you spaceship and that's just one of the shiny moments for Drax and I'm guessing that moment where that blue mine explodes and we have all the Raptors going up in the air looking into the camera as they are exploding that is going to be what makes Drax mad that is going to be a mine maybe not necessarily set up by the Guardians but maybe Ego works his way into setting up mines on his skin I guess this is my favorite second part of the trailer which influences the whole beginning of the trailer and that is Rocket explaining to Baby Groot how to take care of this bomb about to set it up what button not to push we start with this epic music and then we hear rocket's narration and turns out he's just explaining it to baby Groot and baby Groot is all like I am Groot and you can just tell that Vin Diesel portrayed that and they just pitched it up on the sound booth it sounds amazing and then we have Rocket and Peter Quill arguing about tape nobody has tape and Rocket is like not a single person has tape and I'm guessing that is the part where they are fighting off the Ravagers whoever is after them it's the Ravagers who am I kidding and then we start the credits Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax Rocket and Groot and we have this spectacular scene of a guy just running away from baby Groot scared as all hell and baby Groot just stretches out his arm and puts some some vines or branches around the guy's leg and throws him off that bridge that they are in and baby Groot just yelling as he's after the guy it's so hilarious and this is James Gunn's quirky writing shining throughout the trailer and his visuals as well right when the Marvel Studios comes on it starts this psychedelic purple and yellow colorish very much like the 80s and we have Sweet with her Fox on the Run hit playing throughout the trailer which is uh, amazing. Fox on the Run by Sweet is one of those songs that you don't necessarily remember throughout your life but once it comes on you say oh this song and you immediately connect it to the 80s it's perfect but my favorite part of this trailer comes after the tag of the title and it's Mantis my beautiful beautiful Mantis which just gave me a glow in my eyes of pure joy seeing her and she's explaining her powers to Peter Quill once she touches someone she can know their feelings and she tells Peter Quill that he feels love and Peter Quill is like yeah I feel love I'm a human being that's normal for human beings and she says no sexual love for her and we have everyone just shocked for a moment we have Gamora just like this we have Drax shocked but he's immediately the one who's like ha! and he starts laughing and Peter Quill and me and my friends we watched this trailer and we cracked the hell up it was so good and Batista played it so well and the first time I watched this it felt like forced as it was laughing and laughing off but I watched it the second time it seemed more natural so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt I watched the trailer a couple more times and it sounds more natural each and every time I see it but to really judge it I'm just going to want to see it in the movie itself in the contest and then see if it works or not but he did really well and he tells Peter Quill that if she just revealed your deepest darkest secrets with just a touch oh my god you are so embarrassed and Peter Quill's just like dude dude come on you're a reacting come on cool it off cool it off brah and we have this slight smile on Gamora I mean come on it's just 
It's just charming, and you can't blame Peter Quill for feeling what he's feeling, the sexual feelings he has for Gamora. But I really like this trailer, from the song to the colors that are really popping out in each and every shot, to the Abelisk as a reference. Maybe that is indeed Asgard, where they are fighting the Abelisk, and maybe that location is indeed connected to Asgard. Maybe it is in Asgard. One of the portals leads to Asgard, and maybe another to Ego the Living Planet. We don't see Ego the Living Planet, or at least we don't think we do. I want to see Ego for the first time in the movie. I'm sure another trailer will come out, I will watch that, and then I will watch no other trailers. James Gunn, thank you, congratulations. This was a trailer worth waiting for, the first teaser trailer, and how beautiful he is, let me know what you think of the first teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume. To. Let me know all your thoughts, all your expectations, all your theories on the plot. I like that we don't get any plot, and I want to know what you guys think. And you can also start leaving your questions for the hashtag Rogue One Q&A. Just leave the hashtag down below and ask me how many questions you want about anything you want. They can be about Star Wars, Star Trek, they can be about Guardians of the Galaxy, or any other Marvel Studios. Let me know everything and anything you want to know. And there will be a triple giveaway, because it is Christmas time. Earlier today I uploaded my Westworld Theory Brainstorm in this channel, I promise you guys that it was a bit delayed but it is here i hope you guys check that out and my next video of course will be my westworld finale review and of course like this video and share that is a big way for you geekies to help me out and if you are not subscribed yet join the beautiful geeky community because we are awesome especially the geekies and by that you can click the button and join us so we can be geeky united thank you so much for watching my beautiful geekies i love you guys tremendously i love you forever comic con is this week i can't wait to see my portuguese geekies there and of course stay beautiful stay geeky stay guarding the galaxy Shit!